Chaleros, 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 welcome back, welcome back people, it's the Critic Corp, I am Toke, this is my review today on Walking Dead, The Ones Who Lived, um, episodes 3 and 4, yeah, yeah, this, this shit's fucking, uh, it's the, it was the best one, already, I'm already, I'm already deeming it as the best one out of the, uh, whole Walking Dead spinoff series, as far as for Dead City, and um Daryl Ditson. Daryl Ditson one was fire, don't get me wrong. I love that it was fucking you know, he this nigga was in France and whatnot and all that shit, but this one just it just it it just it is so sentimental and it touches my heart episode by episode. Just just warms the soul seeing um Rick and Michonne uh reunited finally after so long. Sorry guys, you know, got a lipsters in. But um yeah man. This this shit it's fucking it's pretty much uh damn near to the end because I know they do um six episodes with these spin-off ones. So we got we got two more left. Two more left. And uh yeah. I feel like this shit's just uh just begun with with their journey with Rick and Michonne's journey um Rick he he's 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 really he's really trying his hardest to uh you know break it to Michonne that he's not the man he once was man and he's um he's he's you know he's he's a broken man now and all uh, that he really wants is to make sure that she uh she makes it back you know alive to the kids for one and for two just you know that they that her that her and um you know the kids and everyone else uh back at home are safe and he feels the only way that is going to happen is is if he stays, you know, if he, as you know, as 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 the um fucking commander or whatever, or uh, sergeant, whatever, of um of this of the CRM, and he feels that he can uh try and change the CRM and. Uh, make it a better place for everyone, and Michonne, she she's she's finding that real hard to believe, you know, um, considering the Rick that she used to know, and you know everything that she's been through as far as looking for him and whatnot. She you know she really just wants him to come home, and um. You know, just continue their path together, and Rick. You know, Rick is just he. He's he's really stern on this. That is um. It is it's only right if she leaves without him, and he try he he really tries to push her away, but she knows she knows uh. That's not really what he wants, and obviously, you know, their their bond, their love is so strong is is really hurting both of them to see each other, um, you know, out of out of out of character like like that, and um, the more and more they, you know, argue and try and come to a agreement is just taking a toll on them mentally and it it went it spiraled so so badly and rapidly they ended up at this um this like I don't even know what it was uh I think it was like a hospital or some type of um like just I don't even know it was some type of building weird building they ended up at 
and um, you know, it was just them, mano y mano. It wasn't Rick, CRM Rick, and she really, um, she really got to see him open up and uh, let loose and show like that he 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 just he has so much fear and that he's just scared he's scared of losing anything any any more he's scared he's scared of losing anything else more than what he just already have lost and um Michonne she she tries to talk sense into him like that it's it's not going to end like that you just need to be you know he just needs to be positive and um you know have that fighter mentality that he that she always knew him for and things will obviously come out in their favor and that that's that that was like the whole center focus of these uh these past two episodes um now Rick and Michonne's finally deciding to go home uh at the end of episode four and they um they realize that if they're if they put their you know put their uh put their minds together they can conquer anything but of course you know shit's not gonna be easy so they have to fight they have to fight man they have to fight and persevere through it all um And figure out a game plan for when they do get back home. Because Jadis, bitch ass, is uh, is their big dilemma, you know. She she knows everything about them. She knows Michonne's playing this role of a weak, you know, um, you know, a B, what they call it, a B instead of an A. And, um... She, you know, like 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 I said in the previous one, she she threatens Rick, you know, and her and and her like just asshole mentality, um. Really, it it really forces Rick to just not even um. Not even think twice about his actions and just automatically go into a, you know, a. A shell of a man, you know, just broken, broken and scared, and and deep ass fear of the outcome, and you know, um, fucking Michonne, she's 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 right there. She's not she's not letting up. She's standing right there and by his side, and um, you know, expressing to him how how much. She, you know, she loves him and how, you know, she, she never gave up. How she never gave up looking for him and to never lose hope, you know, because she didn't. So why the fuck, why the fuck is he losing hope, you know? And it's just, yeah. Yeah, man, this, this shit's a, a, a deep one. It's a deep one. Uh, I fucking, man, almost broke shit of the tear. This last episode, just, just off of Rick crying and, like I said, opening up to her and whatnot. So, yeah, man. Um, these next two episodes are probably going to be very, very uh intense as they try to, you know, make their departure back home. A lot of uh, a lot of trials and tributes are going to come with it. And they're going to be tested. So, hopefully, they uh, come out on top, man. I'm praying for them. You know, I'm praying, I'm praying for Rick and Michonne, man. I don't want to see them uh, be parted again. That shit, that shit's real sad to see. I really feel for these characters. I, um, you know, I've been watching Walking Dead for a long time now. And, yeah, the character development is fucking just is is immaculate it's just crazy how how much they developed uh you know 
within themselves. And yeah, it's, it's going to be a breaking point for sure. But I feel I, I feel they're going to they're going to succeed. They're going to succeed. Or it's going to end. This season is going to end in a pretty fucked up way to where, you know, it's going to leave us with just questions. So it's one or the other, guys. One or the other. But um, that's all I really got for you guys on this one, man. Uh, Like and subscribe. Support the motherfucking court. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys uh been thinking about for these uh, past two episodes. Um, and I'll be back with some more vids, uh, later on this week, so stay tuned for that, so be it, and yeah, toodles.